So, another thing you should remember from Physics IP1 are the SUVET equations. In fact, I would say that these two right here, you should have memorized. They're so useful, the other two are kind of derived off the other off of those first two, but those two equations you should have memorized because they're so useful. You should also remember what the variables mean, S, U, V, A, T, remember S is displacement, U initial velocity, V final velocity, A acceleration, and T is time. You should also remember what the graphs are, uh, and how like if I were to make an ST graph, uh, that the slope of this graph is going to equal the VT, meaning like if I were to find the slope of any, every point, the slope is constant, starts off low and it gets steeper and steeper and steeper. Uh, that means that the velocity, the slope, uh, starts off at zero and gets higher and higher and higher. The slope of this is a constant and so the acceleration is going to be a constant positive number. So you should know the relationships between these. Um, the slope of um, displacement is velocity, the slope of velocity is acceleration. And reverse of that, uh, is this and Reverse of that, if I want to find the area under this graph, in order to shade in the area of this graph, um, that tells me nothing, sorry. <laughs> if I were to find the area of this graph, that tells me the velocity that it traveled at that point. If I were to find the area of this graph, it tells me the displacement, how far it traveled. So area of acceleration is velocity, area of velocity is displacement. Um, and the slope of displacement is velocity, and the slope of velocity is acceleration. So hopefully you can remember those, as, long as, as well as the super equations. Here's an example. This is a velocity versus time graph. Now, if you take the gradient of the line, or the slope of that line, the way you do it is you do rise over run. Now the rise would be v minus u, because the top of it is v, the bottom of that um, is u. So the rise is v minus u, and then the delta t, or change in time, is the run. So v minus u over delta t is the slope, which is the acceleration. Uh, so if you rearrange the equation, you get v equals u plus at. Now, if you wanted to find the area of that graph, what you could do is split into two sections, just as shown. There's a box and a triangle. The area of the box would just be based on its height, which is delta t times u. And so, that's easy enough. The area of a triangle would be based on its height divided by 2. Or v minus u, which is the height, times t divided by 2. So v minus u times t divided by 2. Now, if you rearrange that equation, you get 1 half u plus v times delta t. And then, if you remember that v minus u is equal to a times t from above, thus s equals ut plus 1 half at squared. Now the s equals ut plus 1 half at squared is called the position equation. And the v equals u plus at is the velocity equation. Those are the two most important SUVET equations to know, and they are used so often in kinematics.